All right, so what we'll need, if you could imagine this, is that we're gonna have two half pieces and one full piece like this. And what that's gonna do is the full piece is gonna be on the front and the two half pieces will wrap around the body and that's how the, the dress will close. So as you can see, two half pieces in the back and then the one full piece in the front. So my fabric is doubled. I'm gonna line this up right on my edge like this. And I'm using a white pencil to mark the fabric. I'm, I don't have to worry about reversing the pieces because this is just a solid color. If you did have the fabric where you have a wrong side, you'll wanna make sure that you flip your pieces around. I'm tracing out um, doubles because we're gonna sew them together. And this is gonna act as like the inner and outer piece of the dress. So now instead of making a whole new template piece that's one piece, I'm just gonna put them together like this. This will be my point where I need to flip it around like that and do the same thing on this side. And when I cut it out, I'm gonna have the perfect pieces for my bodice. You can get my fabric scissors or you could use a rotary cutter and cut. And I'm cutting right on the line because again, this is a pattern that includes the seam allowances. So I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so now I have the front bodice piece. So if you're good at um, sewing things with a seam allowance, then you don't have to worry. Um, but if you, if you feel like you need an extra guide, I would probably, maybe you could even take your, your previous pattern piece and trace the lines in between, in between your, your cutout fabric. So you have a um, confident path of where you need to sew. Um, I'm not gonna do that though. I'm just gonna sew it just like this. Okay, and then the next thing that we'll need is our long rectangle piece. That's gonna be the skirt. I'm gonna take my fabric. Um, I'm only gonna need one piece. I don't double up this one. I just leave it like that with no backing. I got a big mat under me and I'm using a rotary cutter. It's so much faster, but you can totally just use a scissors. And I'm gonna try to make it nice and square. When you're sewing the skirt portion, you don't want it to be all crooked. So this, I definitely like to make sure my measurements are accurate. We've determined that it should be 44 and a half centimeters wide. Make a little point right there. 11 and a half centimeters up. I'm using the lines on my ruler to determine if it's square or not. Making sure my ruler doesn't slip like always. I just slipped, damn it. And the way we can check if it's square is I'm just fold it in half. I already know that this went over the edge a little bit, so I need to cut off that part. In fact, I'm gonna iron it real quick but I'm gonna fold it in half. And you should get a nice little rectangle if it's square. If you have some parts that are hanging over, it's probably gonna be crooked. So now for the steps to sew, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna press in my hemlines for my rectangle. So that's gonna be on the ends and then on one edge. Roll it up a quarter of an inch 
and then another quarter of an inch all the way down and then I shall do the same for the sides. Now we're going to sew our hem and I'm just going to do it in one line and I'm going to start here. You don't have to back stitch, but you can because this is a part that's going to be sewn into the bodice. But start here and maybe sew along um, your folded edge. I usually do it like halfway, maybe like an eighth of an inch away from your fold. And I'm going to start here all the way around to this point. For me, I like to use, um, I don't know, these are just a sharp pair of tweezers and I like to use this to help guide the fabric. My machine is kind of finicky sometimes, so this just helps me. For our bodice is very easy. I don't even use pins because it just stays together so well. I'm gonna separate these. And we're pretty much going to sew up our side seams first to connect these together. So you'll overlap your fabric like this. like this and then you're gonna sew at about a quarter of an inch away from top to bottom and then the same on this side top to bottom top to bottom and of course again if you are using a fabric that has a patterned piece and or a right and a wrong side you're gonna want to make sure that you're sewing it right sides together shall take our sewn bodices and open them up like this um, and then I'm gonna press open our seams or you could finger press it too okay I've um, pressed them open and now we'll shall put our right sides together like this I am gonna pin just to keep it in place especially these seams I would like them matched up nicely so all the way around our perimeter all the way to the other side change my stitch length to two and a half a little bit smaller stitch for the skirt piece and for this I'm gonna pull some thread out so I have a long tail I'm gonna up my stitch length 
to as much as my machine will go, which is about six millimeters. And I am going to go from about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. And I'm just gonna do a stitch from one point all the way to the other side. that with a long edge so you should have something like this and then now I'm gonna do the same thing um, another quarter of an inch way down my tail a bit more and I'm gonna repeat the same thing another long thread and as you can see it's already starting to kind of gather a little bit take my trimming scissors and my pinking shears and I'm just gonna trim off any excess which there really shouldn't be too much but I'm gonna do this in the curves If you don't have a pinking shears, you can also just use your regular shears and just cut notches into your curves like this. And then be sure to carefully trim your corners so that it's not so bulky when we're going to turn this inside out. Now I'm going to take my bodice piece and I'm going to turn it in at the raw edges. And I'm going to go all the way around and I'm, pre I'm going to press this down with the iron. I'm just going to pin these in place. Alright, so now we have our bodice piece nicely pressed in and what we'll have to do now is take our skirt piece and grab your bottom threads like this and I'm just going to tug them in lightly so that fabric gathers up. And I'm only going to do a little bit on each edge and then kind of hold it in place and spread it out because I just want to match up the length, the width of the skirt to the width of the bodice. Okay, I'm going to put this on this side. And on this side to kind of hold it in place a little bit as I move this around because this is about the width that I want it to be it fits within the bodice you're happy once you get it where you like it I'm gonna take these off keep these on hand I'm gonna trim my ends and pray that my gathers don't come out because you won't you'll have to read sew them if they slip through. Okay. And I'm gonna put the whole thing in there, even the gather stitches. Nobody's gonna know. Except you and me now. them up right 
right where that bottom gather stitch is and I'm going to be sure to pin it neatly on both sides so that it's even. Now I'm just going to go on the other side and I'm going to do one more stitch on the bottom. So now we can attach our sleeves. Okay, now we got to this part. We need to put these seams together like this. And then I'm just gonna sew right over this seam here to connect it. And I, you could either leave it open. I've left it open on other dresses I've made but I think today I want to put a little snap so with that being said this would be like this but before I do that I drew out this little pocket piece on these scrap pieces of fabric and I'm gonna sew this into a little pocket and attach it to the front before we close everything up just to add a little bit more design and then once that's done we can put the dress right sides together like this and then i'll just as best as possible using extra th strong thread hand sew these straps together like this this one i actually shoved it into the sewing machine and did a zigzag stitch you can do that too if you don't want your if you want your sewing machine to hate you <laughs> but it does come out pretty sturdy. It's just very finicky because it's so small. Leave a little bit around this part especially. I'm just gonna turn this inside out. I'm going to place it where I want, but I'm going to pin this down like that. And I'm just going to sew it from one corner to the other. put right sides together I'm just gonna put it regular wrong sides together and I shall sew up I'm gonna flip it around and now I'm gonna put these two together and to just do a very strong stitch.
pull everything snug. If I did this with a regular thread, it would surely break. And then I'll just repeat that on the other side. So it looks something like this. Oh, that looks pretty soft. Pretty soft. Hey, can I have a? Huh? Can I have a? Well, she needs a dress. Oh. oh. See, I made this dress, but it's a little snug, so I made it a little bigger. See? I'm just gonna figure out how to put it together. Stick your little legs in. Whoa, what's wrong with your nails? Me? Isla. Um, bum. Get in there, Junie. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Sure. Can I draw my we have a nice little fit. Can I draw my own little um drawing sure. thing? Sure. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a little um drawing thing. Okay. Can I draw my own That's us. Us, po, hat, po. Ooh. Hmm. Look at that. Is that so nice? It looks so wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to repeat the same step on this side, um, I making guess. sure that the female part I is on the inside that. so that I could snap it shut. You need a button too. Yeah. Of course, you need a button. I need a pink one. A pink button. I'm just gonna put a little decorative button over top. Almost done. I just stick you on your tables. Mm -hmm. I just stick you on your table. Is that okay? That's okay. Oh, okay. There you go, Junie. Goes in there. Oh. Hold on, let me line it up and then you can push it. Okay, go. Push. Woo! -hoo. Now her little dress is nice and secure. Um, well, why put my tape? Oh yeah, I put it right there. What happened to her pretty little ball? It came off. There's Junie's pretty little dress. She can even put something in her pocket. Okay. Okay, so here's her finished dressed dress. I thought it was gonna be a little bit too big, but it's actually pretty nice and snug, but without being too much. Um, we decided to use these snaps as the backing. And I just put a little decorative button over the back to kind of cover up all the the stitching that you might see. <laughs> <laughs>